Hey everyone, Dan Lanny here, and this week I'm going to show you how to create your own vision board. In my last video, I shared how our vision to live in Australia, live by the beach, and create a business that supports that, all started life on a vision board as far back as 2013. Now, I've created multiple vision boards since then. I tend to do them every two years, but what I've found is that the more you focus on this, the faster the vision becomes reality. You know, as filmmakers, we're, we're used to looking things through lenses. So when you look through a wide angle lens, you see a lot of different things. But when you put a telephoto on, you start to zoom in on the things that matter. And that's really what the purpose of a vision board is. So what I want to do is, is actually show you how to do it and how we did ours. Um, so I'm going to jump on the computer now and, uh, and show you. So I, I want to take you through this process of creating a vision board, but I first want to get you to ask yourself the question, what does success look like to you? Because until you can get really clear on this, then you're not gonna have the focus required to get to that destination. So think of like, think of this like a telephoto zoom lens, right? When you've got a wide angle lens, you can see lots of different things. And when you're zoomed in like I'm in this little um, window box here, you realize that, you know, you're much more dis distraction free. You can see where you're going. So what does success look like to you? Vision boards and strategic focus is, is, the, is the two components that are going to help you achieve anything you want in life, okay? So here, here is what my first vision board looked like in May, 2013. So to give you context, at the time I was living in the UK, um, I was running my company, F-Stop Academy. We were doing all sorts of like online training and, and workshops and, and lots of camera technique and stuff like that. But I had gone to Australia in 1993. So that was almost like 2003, 20 years earlier, I'd been to Australia. And I had just like, in fact, almost 30 years earlier. It was 1993, I went to Australia. 2003, 2003 20 years, sorry, 20 years. Um, and I fell in love with Australia. So I, I wanted to make living in Australia reality. That's what I wanted. I wanted to make that a really important goal. So like in, in that cr cruel British winter, I, was, I had this printed out on my desk and I looked at it every single day. When you look at this like 50, 60 times a day, if not more, the, your subconscious starts to believe it's true. And so every decision I made in my business, every single decision I made to say yes to a job or no to a job was in with the pure purpose of achieving this reality. Now, there's a few key things on this vision board that I want to share with you. So so one was Australia and, and, and blue ocean, sunshine, outdoor living, open living, airy living, you know, beachside living. That was my absolute goal. I also loved Airstreams and I loved the idea of having a camper van or an Airstream and being able to get out into the great outdoors and enjoy nature, enjoy, you know, living a period of my life in a climate that was different to what I grew up in. And the other thing that was really important to me as a goal was business class travel. One of my mentors said to me in 2009, Dan, you've got to get really clear on what you want life to look like. This is a guy called Dara who'd like sold his business at like 40 and made millions. And he said, you have to get specific about what you want. And so I, it took me a while to kind of put this on my vision board. Cause I was like, who, who did I think I was to want to travel business class or even first class? I thought, you know, who do I think I am? And that was a lot of conditioning from being a kid and growing up in a kind of working class family and so I put on these images of people lying in first class, having lovely meals, drinking nice wine and having space. And these were the things that were important to me. And there's a couple of other things on there which just appealed to me. So that was May 2013. By July 2015, it was all reality. So that is a first class suite in Emirates at the bottom that I've flown in not once, twice, but three times. I flew an upper class with Virgin. We visited multiple beautiful destinations. That one above there is Hamilton Island. Um, I spent time with my wife. My wife and I traveled in first in business class in on Singapore Airlines. And this all became pretty normal quite quickly. 
Uh, that's me on top of a mountain in Australia, just, you know, quad biking, having fun and, and just spending a lot of time outdoors doing the things that had been on my vision board. And like, this stuff is so powerful. May 2013, two years later, all reality. Now, by July 2016, another year, we'd actually moved to Australia. So it had gone from, you know, like, this is a vision to go and spend more time in these places to spending more time in these places and deciding that actually we wanted to live there. And so we put all this work in to, to make this a reality. And so by 2016, we were in Australia and um, flying again in, 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 you know, up the front of the plane. This was, this has become a kind of normal thing for us. Um, there's me with a koala bear there. Uh, on one of our trips back from the UK, Sam and I stopped off in, in Phuket and had a holiday. And um, we'd been to Queenstown in New Zealand. We were looking at houses that had views of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And, uh, and that was our container arriving from the UK. So we actually made this all a reality within three years of putting it on a vision board. So like this stuff works. It's really powerful. So... So visualization is one of the most powerful mind exercises you can do. And if you're watching this and you're a video producer, then that you can do this. This is all in filmmaking is all about visioning a, a, a film before it's made and having to kind of sh sell that idea to a client. And so this process is not only powerful, but it's actually a lot of fun as well. So, so what should you put on your vision board? Well, Anything that inspires and motivates you. It could be relationship goals. It could be career and finances. It could be home goals. It could be travel goals. Um, personal growth, including spirituality. Maybe you want to spend more time being present. It could be your social life. It could be education and it could be health or any of the, the above and like a combination of them. So, so to spend some time, you know, thinking about like what I'll often do is I'll meditate before I create a vision board um, because I want to be in a space of relaxed calm where I can really start to think ambitiously. Um, so from here, um, you know, here are some of the specifics of that vision board. So in 2013, I put this random picture of a dude in, um, I think it's like first class in um, in Emirates. And like by, uh, I'll move, let's see, I'll move this out of the way, I can't actually. But by 2016, I had actually flown in that very first class cabin and I, and I took a shower in an Airbus A380 over Bulgaria. Like it was mind blowing. And this was all through the work I was doing. Uh, I actually flew to... Um, Amsterdam with Sony and um, they'd paid for a business class flight and I was able to upgrade. So I got to experience first class. And so I share these because I love experiencing these things. And as someone who came from a, from a, from a very modest family, the, the prospect of ever flying in these kind of classes was so out of the realms of possibilities, but I really wanted to do it. And so I made it a goal. Something else that became reality was the move to Australia. So I'd put this vision of this kind of beach shack with the ocean in front of me in 2013. And by 2015, 2016, we, we not only visited, but we'd actually moved to Australia. And we had this house in the bottom here, which had this incredible direct on the beach view. We had a little dog come with us. And we spent increasing amounts of time together outside, having fun, living a great life, living the dream, I suppose. So, so how do you create it? Well, it's it's actually there's a number of ways you can do it, but the way I did it was I just used pages, and I and I use pages, um, or you could use any kind of Word document or like any kind of design software if you wanted to use Photoshop, and what I do is I literally Google images of things that inspire me. So in this example, I put beach houses, and I was like. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna spend some time in a beach house. Just rent them to begin with, but then, as you'll see later on, it's actually become a reality to live in a beach house. And, and so this all began as just ideas. So in the same way as you might research images for um, 
you know, a, a, like a storyboard or, or a vision for, for a film or a kind of mood board, this is what you do. You simply Google images that inspire you and you put them on a pages document and you print it out as a PDF and you put it on your wall. Um, because because what you focus on expands, you know, and where your focus goes and where the attention goes, the money flows. And, you know, this channel is all about sharing my journey as an entrepreneur, as a filmmaker, and how you can go from being whatever aspect of filmmaking you might be involved in. For me, it was I was a cameraman and I earned a, a decent amount of money as a cameraman, but I decided to start a business helping filmmakers. And that business has provided enormous riches to me, um, not just financially, but in terms of the people I get to work with, the kind of successes we get to share with our clients. But but I love this visioning process. So by 2017, I had some new vision. I, I had to create a new vision board. And I realized I create my vision boards kind of every two years. And so we started looking at kind of homes maybe to kind of be more settled in. We started thinking more about moving out of the city and having a more tropical lifestyle. Um, I wanted to expand my my business and and have more connection with my clients. And we wanted to kind of buy a camper van and, and get on the road um, spend more time, you know, in nature. I wanted to spend more time being present and, and meditating I was really keen to start focusing really narrowly on one thing. And I was really keen to start a podcast and I really wanted to get back into drums. So that was some of the, the core top level visions. And, you know, not surprisingly, by 2018, that is my drum kit that I purchased and, and still have downstairs in the garage. And I'm now in a band that I play with every weekend. And that was always going to be a goal. Um, we launched the How to Scale a Video Business podcast in, in, and, and really kicked that off. And um, I wrote two more books. Um, and, you know, uh, well, the first book had been written, but I actually wrote two more books, Marketing for Filmmakers, and I also wrote um, The Filmmaker's Guide to Budgets and Quotes. We, we purchased the van, we renovated it, we turned it into a camper van, and we spent many a great camping trip, you know, in nature. And I, and I was doing a lot of travel in Asia, doing a lot of speaking gigs for Sony at YouTube. And so my career was going great, but really my focus was on the lifestyle we wanted to live. And, and so we designed it to be like that. And then in 2019, I did another vision board. And on this vision board, it was all about, you know, um, you know, buying a home. I wanted to get into cycling and, and build a community within, within the exercise I was doing. And um, we wanted to kind of solidify our citizenship in Australia. And I wanted to scale my business so I could help more people and, 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 and put some money into some investments as well and, and learn to sail. And, you know, that was 2019. By 2020, I was doing more speaking gigs. I was speaking to more and more audiences. My business was expanding. We were helping more and more filmmakers. Um, I bought this incredible $5,000 carbon framed um, road bike and got into road cycling. And we were able to buy a really nice Range Rover. And, and so we were able to kind of like enjoy all of the fruits of our labor. And I'd learned to accept that having nice things was okay that I didn't have to apologize for working smart, creating great opportunities for ourselves and for others, but, but really helping others succeed in business meant that I succeeded in business. And so if you really focus on delivering great outcomes for your clients, then all of this can happen as a byproduct. But the really crazy thing was I had put this random picture of a house that I just found on the internet. I found this house on the internet and we actually started house hunting up in, in Queensland here in Australia. And we literally came across the exact house that was on my vision board, randomly had come up for sale. And we went to see this exact house. Now, as it turns out, it wasn't in a great location for us. And one of the things we needed to do in our business was have really reliable internet. And this was up a mountain, had an incredible view. It was a stunning house. Um, but that just blew me away. And I actually 
we, we saw it online and I took my vision board with me to show that this stuff goes way beyond just like imagining a future self, a future success. And it kind of some sort of how woohoo, woo you know, some sort of woohoo that, that, um, that kind of, that, that becomes reality. This was like mind blowing. And I told the agent and she was just blown away. So like this stuff is super, super powerful. It really does work. In March 2021, we actually got the keys to our beach house and we ended up living 400 meters from this incredible beach. And all of that began as a vision in, 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 you know, 2013. And we were able to, you know, move into our dream, our dream home. And, and now this is my friend Simon, who was over from the UK recently, sitting in my office. We are literally 20 minutes from the mountains. We are four minutes walk to the beach. I have my dream office set up. It's all lit. You're, what, you're looking at the shot now. It's all lit well. I've got an amazing handmade desk. I've got a 75-inch 8K screen on the wall, and I've got a 5K screen, and I've got all my computers. And I have this really effortless desk set up, which means going to work is an absolute dream. I get to work with incredible clients every day, clients who are doing amazing things in their business, and it was all because of the vision board. So there you go. That is a, a glimpse of how to create your own vision board. It's actually very, very simple to do. It's very easy. And it's a really fun exercise. So I'd love to know, is this something that you feel comfortable doing? Is it something you've tried before? If you have, let me know in the comments. And please, if you found this useful, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, Give me a thumbs down and I will see you in the next video.